Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can install IVC VPN on your Windows, how it's possible, how much it costs, how good it is. We're going to speed test it too, to bring everything on the table for you. That's exactly what they can do. I know that some of the stuff did change with this company. They used to give you only five accesses. Now they're giving you 10 accesses. So that means at the same time, you can log in 10 times and that way you will be able to be very, very secure. So that means is that you can connect your computer secondary computer, a laptop, your phone, and your tablet, go ahead, connect it. This way, there's no way for anyone to know exactly where you are and also how you everything is set up. So let me just walk you through step by step. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. Make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So once you go to their website, which is right over here, you can see that they have so many deals available. So as an example, this is the latest deal that they have, which is going to finish in three days. So they have monthly and then you have about six months plan and then they have two years plan. So you can see that you can save up to 75% if you go to two years. On top of that, they have encrypted up to two terabyte of cloud storage included with this. And in order to get it, it's all underneath of it. So the payments are very, very straightforward. You can even pay with Bitcoin. Also, you can use PayPal to pay this or regular credit cards. There are different type of payment methods available on this website. Another good thing is that they are telling you exactly what they're going to offer for you right when you're trying to pay for it. Something like malware protection, a smart connect feature. On top of that, unlimited bandwidth. They have the military graded encryption, which is up to 256 bit, which is really, really high right now. And also no browsing log policy. So whenever you go, they're not going to keep any kind of a record what you're trying to do. And also they have the internet kill switch in this case. So that's why they have it on a top two right over here. They're talking about the same type of protocol and really high speed download. So we're going to test the speed test and everything in this we will show you. And on top of that, how many locations you can connect to, which is over a hundred as I know of. And also peer to peer support, dedicated support for the apps. And also you can connect up to 10 devices, which we already indicated. So once you go through and as an example, you're going to put your email and this way you're going to see exactly what's going to happen. And once you do that and you're going to just select your payment, in this case, I'm going to select PayPal. You can see that it's already been calculated for me. Now this is in US dollars. Just I wanted to clarify that to you. And then once you process it and say proceed, and then it will take it to PayPal so you can pay for it very, very easily. Within a minute, you will receive an email with your username and password, and that way you can log in. And there's a new offer that just came up, so you can use this to help you out, but you have to sign up for five years, which is beautiful. All right, so let's go through and log in. So for the very first time when you're trying to log in, now this is where you're going to be able to download the apps is right here. So you will get this page and then you have to use that username and password that you set up. And once you log in, you have a lot of things inside of your profile. You can see from the top and then you have your dashboard, your billing, your support, download apps, also add-ons, how you can process that. and business VPN if you need to set up and also if you want to become an affiliate yet it's all going to be over here the best part is the apps download section now it's all apps you can go to desktop and laptop there you go it just automatically takes you so that way you know exactly what you are going to get into so something like for Windows for Mac or for Linux very easily you will be able to download it now if it is for your smartphone you can do the same thing go to their website and then when you log in it will give you direct downloads right there so you can get it and also if you want to install an add-on or an extension on your browser so chrome is there firefox is there and also edge yes they do support edge and if you want to install this on your consoles you can do that too so it doesn't matter xbox or playstation these guys are out there the best part for this is that you can also add this on different type of devices. So it doesn't matter if you have Roku or even if you have a Blackberry, you can install this. Even if you have OpenELEC 
or routers. So you can go towards the Fire Stick. Yes, you can install it. And also you can put this on your Android. Now, I'm not going to do that. Let's go back to desktop. So this is the first thing we're going to do is download the IVC right there and then I'm going to install it so we will run it and we're going to install it on a regular default folder just going to click next and there you go now it will ask you if you want to make a shortcut on your desktop and also quick launch we're not going to do that and also automatically run it automatic so I'm not going to do that too just for this video sake that's all so once you go through and install it fully we're just going to wait for it to go through so there you go once it start installing it for you now it's going to optimize the app to startup so this way everything has been set up properly now I am using Windows 10 but I'm not going to connect yet so when I install this I will go back to my browser and I'm going to the speed test. I'm going to check my speed right now without using VPN that what type of speed I'm getting. So this way at least I know by heart what I should expect. And there you go. Once it is done, you say it's to launch it. So I will click finish and I will leave the little check mark so it can start up. And this is the first launch as soon as you go into the actual app. And there you go. So this is how everything looks. And yes, you will get these alerts that if you want to install it as an extension in the meantime just gonna say remind me later so in this case I'm going to speed test so speedtest.net which is done by Okla this is beautiful remember I am not connected right now via any kind of VPN just going to test it up so I can click go Now where I am, I have a gigabit internet and you can see right now that there are some connections in this, but I am getting over a 700 megabit download at the meantime. Let's see when it ends, what type of number I will be getting. So 768 for my download and I have roughly about 30 megabit of upload. It always exceeds, it goes over a little bit when it comes to upload. That is something that we always consider and say that is supposed to happen. Now remember one time is not good enough for us. We always do a double take because some people say that when you do it one time that was not really accurate. You could just make it up or something. So here you go. This is the second time and all these ads around. I'm just going to blur it out and I hope that it doesn't show at all. I do not like it in our videos. So here you go. Now it's the second time that we are running it and this time it gave us again over 700 megabits. So now it is our upload rate. So just waiting for it to hit that spot again, which is already doing it is 33.7 right now 0.8 and it goes down a little bit. So let's see when it ends it always capture it. So we roughly getting about 33.41 for our download. Now this is without the VPN. Now here's one more thing that when you're doing this test you can go to change server so you can select different places. This will make your internet even faster when you're testing which we do not recommend. All right so this is the first time that we're going to place a test to see exactly what type of connection we're going to get and then we're going to change this a little bit. So let's just change it to the cities and then we're going to be able to select some other cities. So we're going to scroll down really, really quickly. And here you go some other places that you can see Francisco. And then we're going to click on connect. It takes a couple of seconds for it to go through to connect. And also it depends what time you're going to be connected. So sometimes they have rush hour. It may be slower and more. Right now we are connected with San Francisco and let's just change this. And we're going to reload it. So this way we're going to see exactly what it will show. There you go. You see that? So it totally changed. And now let's do it one more time to see exactly what type of numbers we're getting when we connect from Ontario, Canada to all the way to San Francisco. So there you go. We're still going over 100 megabit, which is really good. And that's what we really want is over 100, not underneath of it. And right now I'm getting about 150. There you go. You see that? And it's about 151.53. And our upload rate is, remember, for where we are, you cannot exceed it over 30 megabit. So I'm getting roughly about half of it right now because where we're going to upload to is very, very far. But again, it is just going to use the tunnel to process it. So this is type of number that we're getting when we are testing it with San Francisco. So here you go. Now I'm just doing it one more time to double check to see exactly if I'm going to 
be able to reach that number again or not. Right now we're getting about 70. Do you see that? It changed. Now it is about 80. So it's always going to be depending on where you're going to be connected, how many people are on it, and how you will be able to get these numbers. So that is the first one, which is 91. Again, it's pretty good on how you are connected to and how far you are. And then we're going to connect it for a second time. Now remember, we are in Ontario. We are very, very near to Toronto. So the next test that we're going to do is going to be for Canada. So we're going to disconnect, and then we're going to click here, and we can just scroll down a little bit and we're going to see the three big areas in Canada that it shows up. First one is going to be Toronto. That's the one we're going to select and connect. Now remember, the newer you get, it should be faster, but sometimes it's the most slowest one. So let's just give it a shot to see exactly what will happen. There you go, I just reloaded the app so that way we can get an accurate numbers. There you go, now we're going to say go. And you can see that automatically went to almost 100 and now 200, which is perfect. So that means is when you are going to use your VPN, if you want to connect it very near to yourself, it would be the highest. But right now for me, I have a gigabit internet. This should go over 500 megabits, but it looks like this provider itself does not give you that much of an access. So that way they can get to everyone, which is a proper thinking on how this is connected. Now, if you want to do gaming, 200 megabits will be a really good number. Now, we're going to do it one more time to see exactly what type of number we're going to get with Toronto. And then we're going to test it with one more place, which is going to be United Kingdom to see exactly what type of numbers we're getting. Now, I do not want to forget if you have this service and you want to go to China, something like the regular mainland, like Hong Kong, this will work. But if you are going to go around, it is not going to really help you out because only place that will al allow you to be connected or you want to connect from here and you want to make it look like you are in Hong Kong, that will work. Now, if you are there and you want to give this a test, please do that and please let us know how it really works so that way we know exactly what we should be expecting from there. I have to go to country, really brought out area. We really do not know where we're going to be connected to, but just to give you guys a little heads up, this is when you get it. And now we just reloaded the app itself, so it shows a proper number in the bottom, and that's what we're waiting for. And once you get it, there you go, we're going to click on go and see what type of numbers we're getting from here, connecting all the way overseas to United Kingdom. So you can see that again for the very first time, you're getting a really good number, which is over 100 megabit. So this is how we're testing it. Now remember, this is our first test and this is our download rate. So I'm just waiting for this to be done. There you go. So it is 163 by 68. And then our upload rate will be always falling a little bit down because you're not going to upload that much. You're always going to download. So that is main thing that you have to think about is how you're going to be able to be connected. So again, it's a really good number. It is 21 for our upload. Now I'm going to click on it one more time. So that way we can elaborate a little more about it is when you're connecting to a tunnel, especially with a VPNs, it always going to keep you secure. And that way you're going to be connected to a proper server. This is going to help you out if you want to stream something. If you are want to watch a stream, this is going to help you out. Remember with a 4k, you're not going to get anything over 43 megabits. So it is always good to have an internet that is about 50 or over. So that way you have an ease when you're trying to watch something in 4K. But if you want to try or if you are trying to upload something, this is going to help you out a little bit to be secure and also be anonymous. This is really going to help you out. So here you go. This is for United Kingdom. But once you go in, you have your main screen and also you can change it to cities or you can leave it on country. So this way, when you select down, it should give you all the country names. And also, if you change it to cities and you want to go next, it's going to give you the same area, but with different cities that you can select and you can connect to, which I think will be better. That's not the only thing you can click home and it will bring you right here. So also you can click on it so you can log in to your VPN. But here you go. This is the latest version right now. We are in late March of 2021. So there you go. And also you want to see your download. You want to stream 
they're going to give you all different type of apps available that you can select so it knows exactly where you want to try to connect to and also unblock some of these places as an example you want to unblock certain apps so you can get different genres for your videos you can use this and also dedicated IP you can select it and you will be able to get a dedicated IP and those are going to be attached to your account so if you have access you can select it and once you log in all of your information will show up and even expiry date when your account will expire all going to be right here your plan your account status everything and if you require to download a different version of this app itself you can directly get it from here and you can also upgrade your account if there is something different that you are going to be interested in you can just come right here and then within your account going to their website you will be able to upgrade it and going under settings you can see everything else is there too so you can launch on a startup as soon as you turn on your computer it should get it auto connect after launch also disconnect VPN as an app exits so this way you're only going to use it for certain apps and IP DNS leak protection this is a really good thing to have so when you are going to be connected then power goes out and comes back on and then you're still inside of a download this will really keep you safe because your download would not start and you don't have internet access until you connect it back with this app so automatically it will just reconnect you once you have internet then your download will start again if you are downloading anything and you can also say to minimize it on your taskbar so this way you're not going to forget where it is connection part you can use this I'm going to leave it as a default under the internet kill switch so this way it will always use that you can also put it on automatic you can see that internet kill switch is selected right now and I'm just going to select it to turn on now since I am not logged in it doesn't allow me but once I log in then I will go back here and turn it on another thing is called active multiple port this is beautiful to have and split tunneling so the next part is help if you need a question there are some automatic questions that they already answered and also there are some submitted tickets if really slow connection with some places you can write it right here and click submit and you will get a proper information just remember that you need to select which platform you are in in order for them to exactly know how to tackle it and help you out another part is feedback if you have any kind of features in your mind and you think that's really gonna be really helping everybody out go ahead write it right here and submit it so they can go they're going to work on it now I really like the way that this is set up it's very easy again and it's not really expensive to even get it and on top of that you're getting your speeds over 100 from where we are which is a really good thing remember that the price is really good the servers are first when you're trying to connect takes a little time for it to connect but once it connects you are done that's it it works it it really plays everything accurately for you I really recommend everybody to get this it really worth it for the meantime I am really enjoying playing with this right now and I hope that you guys like this video if you do like it click the click like button the link is going to be available in the bottom where you can click on it and you can buy it remember it's an affiliate so we can get some little help from it whenever you are going to purchase this I really recommend for you to jump on the two years because it saves you a lot of money and I hope that you get that for that dollar amount that it said and not over two dollars so this way at least you're going to love this and you're going to use it and you're going to be secure doesn't matter if it's a phone or even if it's a tablet or your computer you're going to really like being behind the proxies so this we are very safe and these guys do not keep any kind of data which is a beautiful thing so i hope you guys like our video if you do like click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you